The legendary music venue, The Hole in the Wall, a staple on the drag, located at Guadalupe Street for nearly 50 years, receives a $1.6 million real estate investment. This is the first iconic music uh, venue that we've reached an agreement with, and those it's a combination of hot and general fund dollars that we're uh, providing in this $1.6 million investment. Teresa Alvarez says the venue is one of 45 applicants receiving the money from hotel occupancy tax dollars and general funds. This comes through the Austin Economic Development Corporation, a nonprofit organization created by city council. Music, arts, and culture are such an important economic driver for the Austin community. Um, so we're trying to look at all aspects of preserving music, arts, and culture. According to Alvarez, the lease for the hole in the wall ended in April of 2023. Then the negotiation process started. The new lease was signed this week, a 20-year agreement. It really is a real estate investment with a contract with rules and um, requirements set in, reporting requirements set in place. And then the 20 year lease is actually 10 years with two five year extensions. Neighboring businesses are in support of the extended stay. We know they have a sound stage, so they do shows and stuff like that. So I think it's, if it's a hole in the wall and it's a local spot and it's been, that's what they've been doing, then why would we not allow them? But like, I don't see why 20 years, you know, like 10, 20 years or hopefully they're here even longer, you know what I mean? That they do well. And uh, by them doing well, also the neighborhood benefits too. The city has given Austin EDC the funds for the real estate investment that will be dispersed monthly and will not have to be repaid as long as the guidelines of the contract are followed, according to Austin EDC. The hole in the wall is open 364 days a year. They have three to five bands playing on a daily basis. So the so it's really the driver for the the local musicians and the bartenders and the employees. So it's really um, helping to keep a venue like that in place that's going to drive our local economy. An advantage for the city, the venue and surrounding businesses, says Cobb Malik. We can benefit from their crowds being out here on the strip, uh, you know, whenever they're here for their shows. 